Hello, I am Dr. Navya, consultant pediatrician at Pace Hospitals, High Tech City, Hyderabad. Today, we are going to discuss about the guidelines on screen time in children. Screen time is the total time spent by the children per day in viewing the screens. It can be mobile phones, tablets, television, or computer. Excessive screen time has many harmful effects on children. The effects on the physical health is easy to understand that excessive screen time lead to sedentary lifestyle which in turn lead to obesity and watching screens for longer duration strains the eyes and it also causes headache and disturbs and watching screens in the wrong postures lead to back and neck pains. The effects on the mental health still many research is going on. There are few research according to which the early introduction of screens for children less than two years of age lead to delayed speech and hyperactivity. Whereas in older children, it leads to aggressive and violent behaviors. It can be due to the content on the screens. It also increases anxiety, depression, reduced socialization, and poor concentration, and decreased school performance. Children less than two years of age should not be exposed to any type of screens except occasional video calls for social interaction can be allowed with the family members who stay at a distant place. Many parents introduce screens to engage their babies while feeding them and when the babies are crying. Dear parents, please do not do that. And for children between two to five years of age, limit screen time to less than one hour per day and always supervise the screen time of your children. And for children between 5 to 10 years of age, screen time should not exceed 2 hours per day. It should include educational, recreational, as well as extracurricular assignments in it. And do not permit to use social media for children between 5 to 10 years of age because they are not mentally ready to handle it. For children between 10 to 18 years of age, make sure to balance the screen time with other activities like outdoor physical activity, Time to do schoolwork, family time, and minimum of 8 to 9 hours of good night time sleep. And also educate the adults in regarding the safe and healthy use of the screens. When screens are used in moderation, they may have benefits. It encourages learning and acquiring knowledge. Digital platforms like online yoga classes, music or instrumental classes helps the children to acquire skills. And digital devices are the tools to communicate with friends and families and it promotes the social interaction and channels like YouTube and blogging platforms gives the opportunity for children to display their talents. Parents should formulate digital rules for their children to encourage healthy usage of the screens, ensure warm and nurturing environment at home. Children usually follow the rules when they are guided in a respectful and empathetic manner. Teach the children to balance the screen time with other activities like outdoor physical activity, time for the schoolwork, family time, and good night sleep. And correct posture should be adopted while sitting in front of the screens. And while doing offline homeworks and having dinner together, always make sure to off all the digital devices. And keep your children safe by co-viewing and monitoring the online content. Unhealthy usage of media leads to addiction. If your child compulsively uses the media, craves for it and lost control over its usage and gets violent and asks to stop its use and continues to use in spite of the adverse consequences like reduced full performance, he probably got addicted to it. <music> Parent screen time also has effects on their children. Children usually learn by watching their parents rather than listening to what parents say. And children usually learn healthy usage of the screens. The parent role model their digital hygiene. And moreover, when the parents use screens for longer duration, their time for social interaction with their children decreases and which in turn has negative effect on their child's development.